getting a win in Fortnite has always been one of the best feelings. Back in the OG days, just simply playing a public match and getting a win felt so good. But once I started getting into competitive and doing well, that feeling skyrocketed. Today, we're gonna be checking out the top 10 Fortnite moments I will never forget. Coming in the number 10 spot is my first FNCS semis with Rhodey. Popping off this game was one of the best feelings because I had never made it this far in a tourney and to be able to pop off like this felt so good. Playing front. Yep. Nice. Patient. We can spray, we can spray this kid. 75. Nice. He's up, he's up. We gotta go up. Okay. Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, behind us. Right in my box here. Oh, he's above. He got up. Let me reload, let me reload. Dead, got Spidey him. Up the hill, Spidey up the hill. Okay, one, going, one going. Zone, one back zone. Just get up, get up. They're gonna fight. You got this. Nice. Madness, madness, play it. Play the madness. Second, let's go. Number nine is unforgettable because it's the most scuffed tourney story I've ever had. My first console champions cup. Day one, I was supposed to get a PS5 in the mail. Sure enough, it came in the mail, but it required a signature and I was at Six Flags that day. Full toss, so we had to play with me on PS4 in day one. Somehow we almost got top 100 and we only needed a top 2000, so I guess that was no problem. But day two, I got my PS5 and I was setting it up right before the tourney and I could not get it to run at 120 FPS. There was major delays, my PS5 was totally malfunctioning, but we had to play and we ended up tossing like five games in 30 minutes because I was useless. At that point we said, screw it, you know, I'm just gonna have a scuffed recording set up so that I can get 120 FPS. I set up a camera behind me and we immediately started popping off. I literally look like I'm playing on PC here. When I tell you this was scuffed, I mean scuffed. There was no audio in the recording or anything. But you can tell the frames were making a difference because we were starting to pop off. Even though we went absolutely crazy when I fixed my frames, it wasn't enough to qual, but I'm never gonna forget that scuff tourney, bro. Coming in the number eight spot was my first ever qual to a finals in duos. This was me and Kenbean's second day playing together as a duo, but somehow we had the craziest chemistry. This game right here, we went totally crazy, absolutely fragging, and the ending was just unreal. With you, with you. 100, dead, coming to you. Okay. I'm with. Look up at, I have no mats, no mats. You have to lead. Dropping, I, dropping, dropping. Myself. Dropped wood. Okay. Okay, okay, we play low. I'm looking down, 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 right here. 60, cracked. Dead, dead on that kid. Nice, dead on getting that kid. mats. I play stairs. Coming. 2v2, okay. two two, I think. I'm healing up. Okay, we body these kids. Yep, lead. I'm leading. No mats, no mats, no mats. Dropping. All right, spraying up. Yeah, go. 80? Dead? Dead on one, dead on one. 80, crack! Dead! Let's oh my go. god, let's go, bro! In our last game, we needed a win to qual and weren't even sure if it was gonna be enough. But this was a W key lobby, so it was so dead. No way! Let's go! Let's go. Bro. <laughs> okay, three, three two, two, one. one. Oh god. Go, Let's go, go. 43rd, <laughs> okay. Coming in number seven was when Ken Beans and I qualled from contender to challenger on NA West servers. And it wasn't because we qualled that it was a memory. It was because the entire tourney, we were fighting for the number one spot. A mass majority of the tourney, we were in first place. One, me too. one v one. No ammo. But right at the very end, we were in a long queue to get our last game and we missed it. Because of that, we missed out on first place by only eight 
points. But I'm never gonna forget that tourney because it was so dang fun. Coming in number six was me and Rody Bro's last game, our last chance to pop off and qual for the semifinals of FNCS. This was the most stacked game we had played of the whole season, and we needed to get up to 122 points to qual. Get in on this kid. Duo, duo. Dead on one, dead on one of the duos. Nice, nice, nice. Get to me, get to me. I'm with you, I'm with you. Play you, play you, play you. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I got this mid layer up top. Someone is in layer. my box. Dead, dead, got him. Nice. Another one in my box. Get up to dead, me. got him. I'm being held. I can jump on this kid. I can jump on him. I got out, I got out. Get ahead. Nice. Play you, play you, play you. Right in here. Solo, solo. We can we can phase in. 105. Right dead. Dead. Nice. Get through. Get through. Get through. Edited, edited. You break, you break. Behind. 50. 50 behind. Oh, let's go. Ooh, I that's got to be it. That's got to be it. That was a crazy clutch, but number five is unbelievable. Some of you that follow my channel may know that sometimes I try to play tourneys like pros to learn and improve my own game. Well, one solo cash cup, I decided to VOD review Malabuka, and I attempted to play like him on NA East. It went pretty well, but that's not what we're focusing in on. Right after the NA East solo cash cup, I played NA West, and you're not going to believe who I ran into. If you couldn't tell who that was, it was Malabuka. That's pretty cool and all, but number four is gonna blow your mind. Ken Beans and I were six games into the tourney, and we only had 20 points, and Qual was predicted to be around 95. We had to get around 75 points in our last four games. In the next two, we got a sixth place and then a first place with six kills. This was so good, but we didn't have time to play our last two games out. So game nine, we W keyed and tried to set ourselves up to Qual in game number 10. But this game was shambles. All the way from off spawn, we got pushed out of our landing spot, had no loot, and were below surge in the most surge stacked lobby ever and this is what happened next it's good it's good i have 100 wood we're gonna have to go for a play on someone soon but we only need a few more points yeah, yeah i'm yeah, looking yeah. down here yeah. wood jump in that jump in that He's white. he armored he armored nice on my side on my side right here i got another kill nice i'm dropping on those mats do it do it do i'm it. going back I'm up coming low ground. i'm coming low ground i'm with you I'm all right with you. i have siphon Crack 60 white! I'm on it, I'm on it! Go, 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 Jump in, jump in! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! I gotta reload! Dead, dead, dead! Nice, hold, hold, hold! Claim wall, claim wall, not ours! Go at this, uh, I have splash, I have splash! Be careful, slow, slow! Play yourself, play yourself! Okay. I have so much mana top, I have 200 from mana, uh, wood. Play yourself, bro, play yourself! You're top 12 right now! No, I almost oh had him, God, 17 HP. Called, I think we qualified, let's go. <laughs> the way we pulled this back. That was maybe the most crazy comeback I've ever had in a tourney. Until the very next tourney. We're trying to qualify for round three, the semifinals. Going into our last game, we predicted we needed a top three to clutch up qual. And now I said the last few lobbies were the most stacked one ever, but this, the most stacked last moving zone I've ever seen. 24 people were alive at the start of this last moving. Walk back, yep, nice. Safe front, safe front. Kids, kids on our top, might not, might be their build. Pump, so pump, pump out, pump out, pump out, pump out. Breaking the head. Breaking metal. Go down, go down. down, 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 nice, nice. Breaking the head. We, I think we need to go up. Wood, 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 wood. Break it, break ahead. Left, left, left. Clean this box. Beyond, beyond, beyond! No, we're good, we're good. All over the place, all over the place. Yep. I got you through. I'm locked in. Crack. Dead, dead, dead! dead. Other one. In storm coming. There's more. Beyond, beyond! Go, on. go, 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 Splash, go, go, go! Come up, come up, come up, I'm come up, up, come up. up. Dead, dead. One more in, one more in. Two more. Dead, dead. Nice breakthrough, breakthrough. Breaking, breaking, breaking. You're alive. 94, 94 points. I have so much mass if you need, I'm really close I'm good, to I'm good, body, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. 
No weights for you. I'll tell you, you're top five. Top three. All solos, all solos. Oh! Let's go, bro. Let's let's go. go. That was a crazy clutch and it sent us to semifinals, but number two may have been our most slept on duo clutch ever. This is the last game of the performance eval and we need a win for even a chance to qual. But this lobby was filled with some of the best players in the Fortnite comp scene. Handling of the back dead. Got him. I'm getting those mats. Okay. I got, I got, I got. Build for me, build for me, build for me. Yep, it was just siphon. Right under us. 35. Cone. Alright. Six builds. Okay. I have one. We should jump in on him. Not yet, okay. not yet. I gotta reload. I have light now, I have light. Okay. Are I'm they still need... under us? Here, dropped. No, no builds. We gotta drop after this team. I don't have any whites, by the way. Okay, okay. We need to go for a play. Got your pull. Do your pull. Spraying down. Yep, spray down. Staying in. Crack them 70. You win this, bro. Madness, madness. Let's go! We what? killed Trashy and Scented and clutched up Qual to the performance eval finals for the second time. Crazy. But what comes in number one is my best memory ever in Fortnite competitive. It started in this solo cash cup, the first one of the season. I had been playing some very consistent Fortnite and I had a good chance to qual in this last game. Qual was predicted to be around 115 points. I was sitting at 114 at the very end of this game and I knew I just needed to survive or get one kill. I saw people fighting so I went for it but it didn't work out and I missed Qual by one place. This was so devastating because the leaderboard had a delayed update and it said I was in like 70th place. I tweeted it out, said I qualled and everything, but then it pushed me to 101. On the bright side, I knew I had what it takes going into the next week of solo cash cups. Sure enough, I went into my last game this week as well, just needing a good game to clutch up qual. Two weeks in a row of being right there next to qual in my last game, but this time I wasn't gonna let that slip away. Enough, bro? This was my first solo cash cup qual ever and my proudest moment in Fortnite competitive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see any of these full videos, the links are down in the description and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.